Hi, I'm Mike, Pokétips Mike, and welcome back to episode number 23, the Pokémon Sword and Pokémon Shield Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. Woo, this is it. Today is the big day. But before we talk about today, last time we had a lot of fun. First off, we had to save the world from the terrifying Rillaternatus, or Eternaboom. I think Eternaboom rolls off the tongue a little bit better. And then, after we beat the ultimate Eternamax Eternatus, we got to see an incredible cutscene that made everything worth it. And now with that out of the way and Chairman Rose out of the picture, it's time for the final match. So this is the team that I'm going to be using. I asked you guys in the comments what Pokemon you wanted me to bring to this championship match, and so many of you said, bring Patronus back out of the box and put her back on the team. So of course, we're going to be bringing her back for this championship match, and let me tell you, training her up was so much fun. I actually did some raid battles to get the XP candies, and randomized raid battles are wild. I'll have to show you if we can somehow beat Leon and get to the post-game content. And of course, we're going to be bringing Cho. Cho has been an MVP the whole entire run. One of my favorites of all time, Bellatrix. I'm actually going to move her to the front of the party. Lumos, Grindylo, and Harry. I think this is going to be the squad for the final battle, and I think with these six Pokemon, we can do it. This is the team of champions right here. So let's go ahead, and instead of flying over there ourselves, let's talk to this man, the Corviknight Taxi, and fly over to the Winden Stadium. All right, Gov, here we are. Just come to me if you need a ride again. Thank you so much. What a kind and gentle man. And look, the crowd is already out here so excited. Hey, it's Poketips, the final showdown. This is so exciting. Yes, it is. The whole randomizer has been leading up to this moment. It feels like at every corner, we're reminded how Leon is the unbeatable champion. So today, we're going to put an end to that. This is it, the championship match. Are you ready to face Leon? I'm ready to beat him, and I love the confidence my character has in-game. That's the confidence I have right now. Everybody on this team, except, you know, Harry, but everybody on this team has proven themselves so useful. They've taken out so many Pokemon on their own, and today, this is their chance to shine. And we're going to win this battle for all the Pokemon that we have that fainted in this run. I think we lost around 25 Pokemon. That box of dead Pokemon is looking pretty full right about now. So today, we avenge all of our fallen partners like Ron and Norbert. My matches are always sold out, but this, I've never seen a crowd this wild. Everyone knows what you did for us this week, Poketips. They know you're the one who caught Eternatus and saved the future of the Galar region. A real hero who battled alongside the legendary Pokemon, Zacian and Zamazenta. <coughs> Golden Sneasel and Chinchino. Oh, what was that? Somebody has a bad cough around here. I couldn't have dreamed of a better challenger to help increase my winning streak. <laughs> winning streak, yeah. Now that I've seen just what kind of strength you possess as the greatest of all challengers, crushing you into the dirt will show everyone how strong their champion truly is. Come on, Poketips, let's make this a final match that'll go down in Galar's history. No, a match that'll change Galar forever. We're gonna have an absolutely champion time. Oh yes we are, Leon, because today there's gonna be a new champion in the Galar region, Champion Poketips. Let's go ahead and let's get this battle started. I am so, so excited. Here we go. Battle against Champion Leon. Oh, he's patting his head. He's ready to go. You were challenged by Champion Leon. And look at him. He's throwing away his cape. And his first Pokemon is going to be a Dub Trio. All right. Come on out, Bellatrix. We can do this. Dynamax is on. Wonder what we're going to use at this battle. It's one of the duties as the champion to get the crowd fired up. Ah, here we go. Level 68 Doug Trio. I don't care that he's higher level than me. I think we could handle this no problem. And now, first impression or liquidation? I want to go for liquidation. I think that's super effective, and I believe that'll just one-shot it. We should be fine here. Ooh, Sludge Wave. Kind of weird seeing it go for Sludge Wave, and it's going to do nothing. Perfect. All right, Bellatrix, let's hit this liquidation and one-shot the Doug Trio. Perfect. That's how we start the championship battle right there. <laughs> Just like your brother talking about the super effective hits. Alright, fantastic job, Bellatrix. Let's see if we can keep that going. And number two, oh, Colossal. Oh, I miss my Colossal. My old buddy Minecraft Colossal, level 69, too. Well, this is where things are looking a little bit different. We definitely don't want to stay in with Bellatrix. I don't want to bring out Grindylow either, because both of them would not like to take a good rock move from that thing. So let's bring out Harry. 
Let's hope his Colossal goes for some sort of rock move. Harry should be able to take that out. Come on out, Harry. This is your time to shine. <laughs> it looks kind of funny. Look at his face when you send out this guy. Oh, yes, there it is. Rock Wrecker. Now, I don't like that move because I know that's a powerful move, but hey. That gives us a free turn right here. All right, Harry, let's go for that high jump kick. Whatever you do, don't miss. Thank you so much. Is this going to be another one shot? Ooh, no. Colossal is living. Colossal is a very bulky boy. But good. Colossal must recharge. Oh, that move in other randomizers has given me so much trouble. Oh, we also have head smash, which is also super effective. But no, I think I'll stick with the high jump kick. I don't want to miss the head smash. I don't want to take the recoil damage. What? Come on, no! No, that's not how we're supposed to do this! Fusion Flare, no, Harry! Harry! Buddy, that had 90 accuracy! How did you miss that move? This is the most important match of all time! This is the big stage, Harry! Oh my gosh, and you know that would have been fantastic if Harry knocked it out too, with the whole Moxie ability boosting its attack? Ugh, oh, the boy who lived, not really. Well, I can get some useful information here. Harry has 88 speed, so as long as we send out something with higher than 88 speed, it'll outspeed the Colossal. Uh, I guess, I guess what we'll do here is go for a riskier play, because again, I don't really feel safe bringing anybody else out in here. We'll swap into Grindylo, and as long as Grindylo hits the Hydro Pump, this Colossal is guaranteed going down. But here's what scares me. We just missed a 90 accuracy move, and now we're gonna try risking everything with an 80 accuracy move. I could also Dynamax here, but I don't want to do it that early. I feel like Dynamaxing here would be such a waste. So Grindylo, please. Hit the Hydro Pump right now, and end this thing. Thank you so much! There we go, Grindy Low. Wash this thing away. Goodbye, Colossal. Taking out one of my Pokemon. How dare you? How dare you take out Harry? All right, ooh, Rapidash number three. Is this the Cantonian Rapidash? I don't think we've seen one of these at all. This or the Galarian one? Well, this definitely is interesting that Leon would send out a Rapidash against Grindylo. I don't really know why he would do that unless he has an electric move. So let's go Let's go ahead and try it. Ooh, V-Create. That moves in this game? I had no idea. Whoa, that does a lot of damage. That's resisted too. I didn't know that move was in this game. Oh, nice though. It's lowering the special defense. So will this one-shot the Rapidash now? Is it going to happen? Yes, it is. I guess that's what happens when you use those powerful moves like that. Yes, it does a lot of damage, but the side effects, they'll kill you. All right, that's half of Leon's team down, and Conkelder. I half thought we were going to see the Conkelby right here, <laughs> but no, it's just going to be the regular Conkelder. Okay, good. Let's try doing a little swap here. I want to use some more of my Pokemon. Let's bring out Lumos right now and hope that Conkelder goes for a fighting move. Hopefully, that would be nice. Maybe. What are you going to do, Conkelder? What are you going to hit me with? Double kick. <laughs> I don't think you should be having double kick at level 70. Now, I guess I'll attack it with Shadow Ball. I also kind of want to use Inferno just to get that burn off on it, but I'm also kind of afraid of Conkelder having the Guts ability, which would raise his attack if it got a status condition, and I don't want to make this thing stronger. So let's just go for Shadow Ball. Love the way Shadow Ball just, like, throbs and, like, does that crazy animation there. Psychic. Interesting. But yeah, Shadow Ball looks very cool in Sword and Shield, and I don't think we should have any problem at all taking this thing out with Shadow Ball right now. Yeah, nice, definitely gonna be a three-hit KO. Even if it wants to hit me with Psychic, it could crit me right now, we'll be totally fine. But I'm actually surprised that Psychic's doing so much damage. Conkelder, to me, doesn't really look like a Pokemon that has strong Psychic powers or a good special attack either. Perfect! There we go! Four Pokemon down, two left. I really want to see what Leon's Barbarical. All right, now that's a weird Pokemon if I've ever seen a weird one. I guess this is why we brought Patronus back on the team, because I think Patronus will be able to handle this Barbarical just fine. But I really want to see what Leon's final Pokemon is going to be. How funny would it be... Ooh, Rock Throw. Okay, yeah, that's fine. How funny would it be if his final Pokemon was actually a Charizard in the randomizer? There's actually a decently high chance of that happening since I believe he is only supposed to have as like his final Pokemon a G-Max Pokemon. So that definitely limits the amount of Pokemon he could have as his potential final Pokemon. Alright, now he's in the red zone and going for Quiver Dance. Raising his stats a little bit, is that going to matter for him? He might decide right here to go for a potion. Let's see what happens. Yeah, he's going for the full restore. So I don't think, unless we get a crit, we're not going to knock him out right now with this Giga Drain, unfortunately. 
Let's see how much this does. Patronus, you're strong. Good, good. That's still a very threatening range for it. Now, let's see. Is it going to outspeed me right now? Yes, it's going for Mega Punch. <laughs> no, no. Mega Punch is not how you beat me, Leon. Nice try, though. I'll definitely give you a nice try. Your Pokemon is like... Two or four arms, I can't really tell if those top things are arms or what they're supposed to be. But I can see why I would have Mega Punch. And now this is it. Leon's final Pokemon. Ooh, we're getting Leaf Blade? Actually, we don't need Leaf Blade. I think the other moves are fine. And Grindy Low getting level 65. Alright, this is it. I'm not finished having a champion time here, and I won't let anyone finish it for me. And Leon sending out his final Pokemon, a level 71 Butterfree. Alright, well, I can tell you, I'm not scared of butterflies, but Patronus, I don't think Patronus is the butterfly catcher. So I think I'll end this with what has basically been my ace Pokemon throughout the whole run, Cho. Cho, you've taken out a Butterfree before, I think you have. But I'm sure you could take one out now. I'll show you what Butterfree can really do, it's Gigantamax time! Haha, <laughs> alright, this is it, Leon's big bad ace. Forget the whole Charizard, he's got the ultimate butterfly Pokemon. Alright, Cho, all you need to do here is just be able to take whatever he wants to throw at me pretty well. Max Airstream, that's a little scary. Ooh, that's really scary, actually. That's not a little scary, that's very scary. Oh, I thought it was going to go for a bug move right there. Even if I Dynamax, we're not going to be able to live that. Well, that's messy. That's really, really messy. Uh, I think I'll use one of my potions here, because I don't want to lose you, Cho. I don't want to lose you. Let's go for a full restore right now. We do get three of these things. I wanted to try to go through this whole champ battle without losing, without using a potion. Oh no, that's even worse. Max Quake, please don't kill Cho. Don't do it. No, no, Cho, no, Cho, no, Cho, no, Cho. Oh gosh, this thing's getting harder and harder to kill by the moment. All right, this isn't going to work. I know this is not going to work. I thought Butterfree would be easy. I guess not. So let's see. It has Max Airstream and Max Quake. Let's swap out to Grindy Low. Hopefully it's going to go for Max Quake again. That's what I'm pulling for right here, because I know if I stay in, we're going to get killed. We're definitely going to get stomped right here, and I do not want to lose Cho. Okay, great. Fantastic. And now that's it. The Gigantamax is over. However, it is faster, and its special defense is higher right now, and we do need to keep note of that. What I'll do here, actually, because I don't think it's going to be able to knock me out with any of its moves right now. Let's go for Icy Wind and just slow this thing down a little bit. Oh, Peck! Your flying move was actually Peck the whole time. Oh, I feel so bad for you, Butterfree. I feel really bad for you. Honestly, at this point, it might make the most sense for us to just Dynamax Grindylo and take it out with Grindylo. Oh, yeah, that's right. It has the Assault Vest. So we can't use Roost. Probably should have taken that off of this thing, but whatever. I think what we'll do here is just go for Dynamax right now, and let's go ahead and use Max Airstream. Let's do it. This is a crazy play. It doesn't make any sense with what I did last turn going for the Icy Winds. Because now we're just going to boost our speed up with Max Airstream. But you know what? I think this would be really different. I really thought I was going to use Cho to win this battle. But Cho swapping into the Butterfly was a lot riskier than I thought it would be. So Grindylo, this is up to you. You have been very underrated this whole run. Let's see what you could do against Leon's last Pokemon, this Butterfree. Max Airstream, buddy. Let's do it. Oh, look at that damage. That is some clean damage. And now our speed is rising. I think we might outspeed it now, because we lowered its speed, and now our speed is even higher. So you know what? Let's end this right now. We also do have a super effective Max Hailstorm, but forget that. Let's end this right now with a Max Airstream. Yes, Grindy Low, you are outspeeding it. And let's take out that Butterfree. Oh, we did it, guys. We did it, my friends. We just beat... Champion Leon, and can we take a moment to just look at Grindylo? Grindylo has shocked me these last two episodes, taking out Eternatus and also taking out Leon right here. You know, when I look at my team, I would think that Verizon Wireless or Cho, Cho would be the one that takes something out, but in the end, the man time. The Pokemon I honestly was not too crazy about when I caught it, and I didn't think it would be that good. I thought it would die pretty quickly. That turned out to be an incredible Pokemon throughout this run. Thank you so much, Grindylo. My time as champion is over, but what a champion time it's been. Thank you for the greatest battle I've ever had. Wow, look at that money. 
34,000 Poké Dollars right there. That's how I'll be able to pay for my little Rotom car. Wow, that was a crazy, crazy battle. Oh, look at Hop, he's so happy for me. Congratulations, Poké Tips. You beat even the unbeatable champion, making you the new champion of the region. You become a first-rate trainer, all right. I offer you my heartfelt congratulations. Oh, I'm so happy right now. And you, Poketips, what you ought to do now is believe in yourself and your partner Pokemon in order to create a bright future we all hope to see. People of Galar, here you have it. A new legend is born right before your eyes. Your champion, Poketips. We did it, guys. Bet you can't wait to see what kind of future a kid with this bright potential has. I sure can't. Let's watch and see what he can do. Oh, wow. This is incredible. I am so happy. We did it, guys. We really, really did it. We just beat Leon. That really, really was beautiful. That was so much fun. <sighs> so now that we've beaten the champion, you're probably wondering what comes next. Well, I am going to be playing through the post-game, so we still do have a few more episodes coming. And then once we complete the post-game and defeat the strongest trainer in all of Galar, we'll be done for a little bit. Until the DLC comes out. Once the Sword and Shield DLC, Crown Tundra, and Isle of Armor comes out, we will be returning back to this randomizer and playing through the DLC as well. Because I feel like there's going to be plenty of fun content for us to explore, and I think it'll be so much fun for us to come back to this randomizer in a few months and have more memories with these amazing Pokemon that we've used throughout this journey. But for right now, my friends, even though the adventure isn't over here, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. This series has been so much fun to record. I love seeing your comments in the comments section. I love hearing how much you've enjoyed watching this series. It means a lot to me, knowing how happy this series makes you guys. And I'm so glad and it means so much to me that you've been watching the series, watching all these episodes, and just having a great time here with me. So, my friends, thanks so much for watching, and I'll be seeing you next time where we start the post-game.